I uh, remember three quarter time here just being so pumped, but at the same time so nervous. And um, yeah, obviously a lot can happen. We knew that the Eagles were a really good side, and they can kick some goals pretty quickly, um, up by fourteen points. Um, yeah, we know that they can kick goals quickly, and I, we just wanted it to I suppose go our way. We wanted to keep the ball in tight, um, make sure everyone keeps playing their role for the team, um, and then we'll go we'll go from there. Hopefully, and it's enough to to get us over the line and to win the flag for us. So, yeah. So we've got the big the big guns in the midfield here and uh, Pig, Bats and, and Kirky, obviously, with the big Oz. And, uh, yeah, clearances and contest, contested ball, obviously, really important in this last quarter. And um, that's, I suppose, that's what we based our game on all year. Um, and it was very important to uh, to make sure that it was... We are at our strongest uh, during this uh, important... Very, very, sorry, very, very important uh, final quarter. Of the day. Really smart from Rune there. Nothing too special, but knew where his support was in the boundary line and uh, and got it over there. It's absolutely pumped to win the flag with Rune. Me and him have played lots of football together throughout third under 18s and, and lots of lots of reserves footy as well. So for us to win the flag, for me to win the flag with uh, someone like Ron was uh, was very special and um, he was a massive part of our side as we won this, uh, this premiership and obviously the 2017 side as well, which I'd don't enjoy as much, but uh, yeah. Second term when his classy ball got him through. Kick him! Oh, oh, it yeah. Have a look at that! Didn't mark, mark it though. Man in front. He no, take. he has played it! So I was talking about earlier about what uh, Lockie McGregor can do, unfortunately. Um, he's a short fellow, but he can jump through the roof. And no doubt Brody had a fair piece of that. But uh, yeah, credit when credit's due. That's, uh, that's some sort of mark. Um, Regardless of the decision, I suppose, from the umpire. I'm not sure if Jonah could have done much more either, unfortunately. But uh, he obviously goes back and I think he, uh, he slots this. So um, yeah, I'm still a little bit ner- nervous now. Only up by the eight points. Um, yeah, some, sort of, some sort of mark from the little fella. What an incredible goal. It's been paid. He took the fly of the year. IGA hanging. Yeah, so the replay shows they probably both had it, which probably means man in front, but I suppose the decision's been made that he's taken a mark and um yeah, a big moment for them in regards to getting it back to eight points and I'm guessing that's another one of Brody's courageous contests going back with the flight to win us the game. Um obviously wasn't rewarded on that occasion, but we really appreciated his courage throughout the whole game and uh and the season obviously. Shredder has given him an absolute bake there. <laughs> Good pressure though from Honey. That's obviously talk about momentum and, and things. Forward half tackle was a massive um and that was a big one right there to get us a repeat stoppage and get the ball going our way. Up Redden. Somehow Evo's sort of got that on target. Not many guys can, can do that. I know he missed eventually, but he just always seems to have a knack of just he just knows where the goals are. And that was uh like I said, although he didn't score, that was uh, no exception there. Really good from Rune here, and uh, that is experience personified there from Scotty, just taking the ball out, knowing where the boundary is, and letting us reset again. Obviously, when you're up in these sort of games, you want to yeah, take time off the clock, um, make sure you're set, and you've got good, strong structures, both in front and behind the ball um, in these situations. And um, yeah, Scotty knows by getting the ball out of bounds, we can reset here. I think there's a blood rule here as well. Oh, Shred Cat. Oh, wow. That's a big call. That. Obviously, below the knees to Greeny, I think. Obviously, I'm not, I can't read the umpire's mind, but I reckon he might have missed one just before when Shredder's obviously tackled Raymond and, and he's blatantly dropped it. And uh, yeah. Good that we get the set shot. And uh, if there's one bloke you want to have a set shot. I reckon it's uh, it's Greeny. Ever since I was at Sturdy, just always seemed to be out there just banging at home cities from around this... Uh, this uh, region, he was a really reliable shot on goal. I think the value of um, a beauty's contest just before against two blokes was absolutely massive, obviously keeping the ball in the area. I think the Eagles, they prided themselves on um, on taking inset marks and really building their, their game up from, from inset marks in the back half. And with beauty up there, good luck marking too many to, to the Eagles defenders, I guess. And um, yeah, beauty was massive for us. Obviously, he started out as a centre half back, and probably one of the centre, one of the best centre half backs in the comp. And then to move forward and then he's probably become one of the best 
was probably one of the best key forwards in the comp him and Brett Eddy during this uh this era of probably three or four years. So um yeah, big contest there from the bad man. The blues are out by fifth Boy, Kevo, you'll be guilty. Uh, I think he uh I think he caught a couple of weeks for that, but um yeah, he's been reported. <laughs> I remember we were at the brewery a couple of days after and all the news was coming through about the tribunal and it was just so funny. He could not care less. <laughs> the great man. Uh. Object there. Wins the tap, lean it wrapped up in a tackle there. One key. The crowd was yelling ball there. I was thinking, surely not. Surely that's not holding the ball. And it wasn't, so all good. Fantastic for the Eagles. This is a big moment right here. Bang. Look at that. He's down. From the captain, that is just absolutely team lifting stuff. That some sort of uh, some sort of moment there from the captain to run through. Arguably their best player in Boyd. Um, obviously, he has a a moment coming up in the next few minutes that is uh, absolutely amazing. But um, yeah, that was a big team lifting moment and um, yeah, great captain's act from from Zane. Once again, uh, smart play there from Broads, one of the more experienced guys, just getting it out of bounds. Aiden as well again. The handball close to the boundary line so we can reset. I just signaled to our mids and I'm going to hit it to the number one spot, but I'm not sure they have much faith that I'll win it. Oh, yeah, I have won it. I'll kick it to the number three spot. Sorry, boys. Once again, we're sort of forcing this stalemate here to some extent. Obviously, that's one of them contests. They've won that, well, they've half that contest, 1v3, which is what we sort of did for most of the day. But, um, yeah, I suppose keep getting these repeat ball ups um, was, uh, yeah, it was very big for us uh, in regards to running the clock down in this last quarter. It's been a really good like, five or so minutes for us, I reckon. So I've been able to suppose, keep the ball in the middle part of the ground, um, get lots of repeat stoppages and like, really just slowly um, milk the clock. Um, and just take, make sure the time keeps, keeps ticking over and we're not under heaps of pressure in our back half. So obviously winning key one-on-ones behind the ball um, has been big. Um, but also just our composure here at this time was, was massive. And Harms is capable of kicking the goal from here. I'm not sure if he does. In fact, no, he doesn't. Big <laughs> goals, man. I remember that bit of play. I remember that bit of play just then with uh, Evo. He loves having a crack at goal of the year. And I think every single step player was saying, take it out, take it out. And he was still trying to step around a couple of blokes before he got the message and took it out. So... On your mark of the week. Another big moment coming up here with uh, the press on Hall. Just see, just absolutely uh, gets gets absolutely rattled by some frontal pressure from Fraser, and he's a he's normally a very effective player as Chris Hall, and for us to make him do that and uh, and kick the ball out of bounds and obviously give us um, a chance to go back forward was was really big in this uh, in this final term. What a change result. The Eagles need the next goal, and they need the big Oz man. Big tackle. Had a really good day, the big Oz. Really competed hard in the ruck. I think this is his first kick. John Casey says in a sec, but just yeah, competed really well. And uh, this play is not bad either. First kick of the day for Osman Thompson. Gamble with it now. Wrestling his way. Step around him, skip. Whoa. Oh. That is uh, an incredible moment for, for Kirky to keep the goal there. Uh, obviously, the captain of the club, our best player, and uh, that is an unbelievable moment. That yeah, if you don't get goosebumps from that, I'm not sure you will you will ever get him. I remember actually that play. I was on the bench at that stage, and I'm not sure who I was on the bench with. It was obviously a couple of other blokes, and when he kicked that goal, we both we've all stood up and like started punching the air, so I'd yell, "Come on!" and then. I remember Shane Grimm, who was a footy footy manager, he stood up with us and said, sit down, we haven't won it yet, sit down. Go on, berserk, and we're all like, okay, yeah, let's relax now. I suppose he knew how dangerous the Eagles could be and how quickly they can kick goals. So, um, yeah, that was my moment of that incredible, uh, incredible Kirky goal. And the double blues look like they are set. That smart was Scooter there. It was unreal. Although not ideal with a smiley kick, we still, once again, get the ball out of bounds, can reset. Um, 
Not sure if we're playing a spare behind. Actually, I think we might. Yeah, I think Scoot has gone back and he's playing as a spare behind the ball here just to give us an extra extra bit of cover um, in these dying, uh, dying few minutes here. Keep their season alive. They need to kick four quick goals. Scotty's last quarters will be... Uh, he's actually very, very strong and really... I know he's playing loose, but he generally saves us um, on many occasions. And he's one of them right here, I reckon. Yep. Door open here. Candy from Pagey there. Big dog, did he get done? that? Puts everyone into a bit of trouble, but another ball up. Um, once again, another smart kick from Scott. Keeping that ball close to the boundary, obviously teams are more dangerous and they can score from the from the middle uh, middle part of the ground. So getting the ball wide, getting stoppages is all we really wanted to do here. We had a few blokes that are really good at it. That's a very soft free kick against uh, Dabbersby. Scotty McMahon again here. It's bang. Very strong, very reliable. Now, uh, if this next play doesn't give you goosebumps, then I'm not sure what will. This is... Uh, with Kirky's goal, these are my two favourite moments in the grand final. Just uh, unbelievable scenes of what, what this is about to happen here. Tributor he has been to himself and now driving out of the defensive 50. Looking for Leanit. Couldn't complete the mark. Palms got a piece of it. Kirkwood again. Disposal number 20. Really smart from Evo there. Pony reluctantly handballs and shepherds. Uh, What a moment that is. <laughs> and that is when I, uh, I knew we had it. Unbelievable scenes. And it couldn't happen, couldn't happen to a better bloke either. Like Greeny, obviously, hard and soul of the club. Played all his juniors for, uh, for Sturt. Um, and to come through the ranks. Played for a few years there when we were no good. And um, yeah, for him to run and take a couple of bounces and, and key a goal... Like I said, that's that and Kirky's goal will be two favourite moments of the grand final. I remember I was obviously involved in the play a little bit earlier and um, I remember running running behind and just screaming at the top of the line, go, go! I just got, could not believe it. And then obviously he's, I didn't realise he had the, the 53 metre leg in him, but he did and it's uh, gone through. And I remember the crowd just being so loud and um, yeah, I had full goosebumps, almost felt like I was about to start crying. But uh yeah, unbelievable moment there for Johnny, and yeah, it couldn't happen to a better bloke, like I said. Scotty McMahon again. What a, uh, I know I keep saying it, but he had a, he was massive for us in the last quarter, the general. Um, yeah, really, really important. Greeny, bang. Taken down into a tackle. He's going to get a free kick here. And guess who it is? It's that little man who's already killed. Beauty more interested in uh, getting stuck into Von Berta than picking up the footy. <laughs> Don't mind it. Very good opening term, Soda. Set the pattern for Sturt. Tackle count. This is just obviously a massive moment for us here. And once again, Greeny taking his time, making sure we get really well set up behind the ball. Uh, I don't think this one goes in, but um, yeah, he certainly had a, some sort of day. Did, uh, did John? Yeah, it wasn't far off. It was not far off. I think that would have given him five for the day. That would have been. He could have. That could have held him, helped him uh, snare the the Odie off squid. But uh, yeah, not to be. Port. <laughs> Guy Page measures the pass, and the mark's been taken by Jared Leanett. Nice composure there from Page to lower the eyes and uh, hit me up in uh, standing all on my own, which was very good. I think I remember just this moment here, just uh, taking it all in, and just once again, just in disbelief that. It looked very likely I was going to be a premiership player for, for Sturt and uh, that we were going to achieve something really special as a, as a group. And um, yeah, I suppose they hit it pretty well. I suppose this celebration as well was a little bit... Uh, I regret it a little bit to some extent. I think I just got a bit excited and uh, started running. Um, I didn't actually realise what I was doing until Brody said to me after the game, he said, what are you doing, mate? Just charging away from me. What, what's going on? I was trying to get around you. I'm like, oh, sorry, mate. Yeah. The moment sort of got the better of me, I guess, and you know, just started sprinting. But uh, yeah, we're definitely obviously home now, and um, yeah, this is where we really started to enjoy it. Um, the fact that we were going to win, and um, yeah, unbelievable scenes. Um, the crowd's obviously gone berserk at this stage. 
and um, yeah, we're all just in a little bit of disbelief. To some extent, I guess, but um, at the same time, we had a lot of belief at the same time that we were going to be the best side and we're going to be able to grind them down like we, like we have here in this last quarter. I think as these moments were sort of closing down, we obviously just wanted to get our setups right, make sure we finished the game strongly the way that we, the way that we should have. Um, just be really strong and really fight it out right to the end, but at the same time, we're just yeah, really celebrating and uh, on the inside, of obviously, and enjoying every moment of us because... Oh, sorry, enjoying every moment of it because um, you know, obviously hadn't enjoyed much success for, for a long time and um, coming from eighth year before and, and all of that, the way that we sort of got on a roll and then and then won this premiership for the Sturt community was um, was something that was absolutely massive and um, they were extremely proud to be a part of it. It's been in everything. And very good contributors, Angus Paul. Paulie being a little, little bit dirty there right to the end. Obviously a bit frustrated with things. I suppose for Pagey to finish with the ball in his hands was uh, unbelievable. Um, obviously a great bloke and had a really good day for us. And uh, I suppose the feelings right now were just absolute joy. I remember the first person I saw was uh, was Fraser. Uh, then obviously, yeah, ran to the big group of uh, of lads there. And I suppose at this stage, I just remember, yeah, just Fraser's face up right in front of me, just yelling as loud as he could, <laughs> which was uh, amazing, obviously. And, um, yeah, just incredible... Incredible feelings right now, just like, yeah, we've, we've done it sort of thing. And uh, I suppose it meant so much to, to so many people, especially the guys that had played all their junior footy for the club. Um, obviously, were a part of the club during stages where it wasn't going so flash throughout the um, probably the, the early stages of the decade. Um, and for us to come good and uh, win that flag under Marty in 2016 was just unbelievable. Um, so... Yeah, just absolutely pumped at this stage, getting around everyone. Um, yeah, it's all a bit of a blur, this. The next probably, yeah, five or so minutes, just getting around everyone, shaking a few hands and stuff. But, yeah, the feeling was amazing, obviously, to be a part of a Sturt Premiership, um, a club that, um, yeah, I've obviously supported my whole life and meant so much to me and so much of the, so many of the boys and, for the day to go as planned was just something that we couldn't have dreamed of. Um, yeah, um, unbelievable, unbelievable day and unbelievable, uh, yeah, moment. I suppose the next couple, uh, the following days after the granny were also, <laughs> also very good. Um, before we headed up to Byron Bay for a footy trip, which was, yeah, an incredible couple of weeks of, uh, of my life and, um, most of the boys' lives as well, no doubt. Um, so yeah, that uh, that wraps it up. I reckon I'm a little bit exhausted, to be honest. That was uh, <laughs> once again a bit of an emotional roller coaster, um, but once again, just uh, yeah, very very fun, very fun to to recount that incredible incredible day in the history of the Sturt Footy Club, and it was um, very special to be a part of it. Um, yeah, Dale certainly never ever forget.